Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I've literally just been at a barbecue with my family. I was cooking. Damn, it was a good spread. And I'm seeing all of this news ticking in and I'm like, oh, this is so awkward. I'm obviously with my family. I'm not trying to dart out and do a video. But as soon as they left, I was like, sorry, I'm going to jump in the chair and talk about some stuff. Raid Shadow Legends. People need to know it. So first thing, they have come up with the goods. We have got our 13th anniversary free gift. It's only available for three days, two and a bit days now. Make sure you log in and you claim the free gift. This is going to be big on the free to play. We've got a five star chicken. Love it. Thousand energy, a legendary tome and a six star chaos ore. Honestly, the only thing missing for me is one juicy fat shard. And that's because I really want some shards for the current fusion. If you didn't see it, I did a fusion prep video earlier, which you should absolutely check out if you are concerned about whether you can get this fusion or not. Um, so the good thing here, it goes into your inbox for 99 days. Don't collect the energy. You can collect the other stuff. The energy will sit there like my energy from my other free gift. Just sitting there. It says shop purchase. I promise it's still a free to play account. I didn't purchase it, but it sits there until you need it. When do we need it? Oh, yeah. When that fusion pops up. So just let it sit there. Good free gift. Thank you, Raid. Now, literally, whilst I'm making this video, it's just been confirmed by Raid that a champion training tournament, which I thought might just be a banner with two champions on it, is coming tomorrow. It is an opportunity for you to get Magna or to get Kayuku. This is crazy town. Like, we are currently prepping like madmen for fusions, and then they drop... One of the best epics in the game, the epic Magna, is going to be available for people that are level 1 to 50 in the game. And then Kayuku is going to be available for people 50 to 100 in the game. It's actually huge. But it's also like the timing is terrible because you should be trying to save your energy and resources for the fusion, for the average person. If you're someone who's just like all in for everything, non-stop all in, you're throwing money at the game as well, then fine. Do whatever you need to do because Kayuku, for those who didn't see my clan boss challenge against Deadwood and Scratch and those guys uh, recently, go and watch the winning video, which I'll post at the end of this one. And you'll see how insane Kayuku is as a clan boss legendary champion. Like totally nuts. I'll go through both of their kits quickly now. Uh, but do carry on watching the rest of the video because there's going to be talk about quality of life changes coming in the patch as well. So don't get sidetracked here and just kind of drop off. So Magna will be the, the epic champion available for people that come first in their champion training tournament. You're probably going to be in a group of 100, so it's never going to be an easy thing to come first, and it will drain your resources pretty damn heavily. But you will get a Magna. Now, Magna is known as the HP-based nuke machine. Yeah, he is the arena nuker for an HP-based champion. The cool thing about him is he doesn't really need a lot of setup, and he just does a ton of work. So he's got a decreased defense, a one. Hooks up to like a, what, 50-65% chance. Um, has a 100% chance if they're burning. So you've got someone else placing a burn. He doesn't place burns himself, but someone else does. Then it become a 100% chance. This is his nuke. It's on a three-turn cooldown if you book it. He is worth booking if you're going to use him for nukeage because you get 30% more damage. Literally, whatever damage number you would have done, times it by 1.3, and that's what he's going to do now instead. This guy will hit twice if nobody is burning. Yeah, and the double hit is where the damage comes from. So you do want him to hit him twice if you're going to be uh, using him as a nuker. If you're not using him as a nuker, you can pair him with an HP burn champion. And instead of that, he'll start doing stunnage. So both ways, useful. But for nuking, definitely no burns in the mix. His A3 then is, an a, uh, is a debuff spreader. So it, de it spreads two random debuffs if enemies are burning. So again... Pairing him with a burner for this ability is way better. Um, and you're going to want... It, it's kind of like Hydra content or Spider content, that type of thing. You bring an HP burner in, and then he does a, a real load of work in terms of spreading other cool debuffs. So Magna is a great epic champion. You get some passive healing going on when people are burning, and he's got a, de a defense in Doom Tower battles. Great base stats, great epic champion. But it's going to be a 1 in 100 and that one in a hundred is going to spend resources to get this guy. Okay, so just be careful you don't get getting sucked in to a fight which just levels your account. You will have to pull shards like mystery shards. You will have to 
um, basically be constantly food grinding, you know, all of that stuff. And you're going to need that for the fusion next week. So just be aware. I uh, can't say I didn't tell you. And then we've got Kayuku, who is, uh, what faction are you? Chadokin. Kayuku is a great legendary champion. Okay, one of my favorite current legendary champions. Quite difficult to play with, but an awesome kit. So what an awesome looking champ as well. We've got here A1 triple hitter. I mean, damn. It's a, it's a single hitter, but can be a triple hitter if there's three debuffs or more. This smacks. Yeah, this A1 hits so damn hard. You'll see it again. If you watch the video I posted the other day, you will see how much work she does in a clan boss team for me when she's meant to be the support champion. She's a defense-based champion. So you pump her defense up. Her base defense is nutty anyway. And she slaps with this A1. Also, it's got a weaken on the A1, which is nice for clan boss. She's got an AoE A2. This is kind of good for anywhere in the game, by the way. So she'll place decrease attack. If someone else places decrease attack instead of her, this is an AoE, then she'll put out a burn instead. So if you've got someone like a Stagnite going before her, he'll go in and lay the AoE decrease attack. She then comes in over the top of that and places a burn. She won't place a burn unless decrease attack is already on by someone else. But this is a great, great skill. So you get your decrease attack for clan boss. And if you run her elsewhere, then you could probably use her for some burn effects as well. Burn is one of the best end game ways to kill stuff. So this is a great A2. And then her A3, you like that. Is that all she's got? No, she comes with more. She's got ally protection. And whilst it's there, she throws out block damage. Now, this is where she gets awkward because her extra turn throws a lot of speed comps off if you're just trying to put her into a normal team. Took me and Safira from HH Gaming a long time to get, get this working properly. But when we did, it was absolutely incredible. And it's basically like having an unkillable team. Her ally protection protects your team. The block damage means that the, the protected damage she takes just doesn't come in. And up until turn 50, and against Clan Boss especially, it's just like a home run. Even on Hydra, that sort of thing, obviously buffs can be stolen and what have you, but still great, great ability. And she's got this passive as well, like that. It's still going. Every time this champion is hit with a crit, basically becomes like a seeker passive. So she heals the team, then puts out a big fat increased defense for two turns. She also, it just basically means that if she takes the hit first, she spreads that increased defense and the rest of the team just take considerably less damage. Um, defense in all battles as well. Great base stats. Koyuku is a legend. So... I guess make your own decisions, guys, if you're going to go for these. But do be aware, the fusion's coming next week, and it's a big one as well. Now, we've also had some news about the patch coming next week, which will probably come in line with the fusion, right? It's a big one for quality of life. This is the year of quality of life changes. Yeah, they said it was going to be the year of PvP. It's not been that. But we have to call it out where we see it. We have to be balanced here. And quality of life changes have been really strong this year. So to give you a few, we've had the AI tool to change um, the order in which our champions do stuff in different rounds. Quality of life change is massive for that. We've had, I'm just reading as we go, super raids added to various parts of the game. Especially good to see them in Faction Wars and Doom Tower. That's really helping us speed up the game. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's definitely better. We've had some of the tavern changes which have improved the game. Still could be better, but it's massively improved. Um, we've had... The Hydra drop with some quality of life changes more recently. Um, and then the Forge, we've had the quality of life change recently there as well. So Raid are doing a good job on it. And now we've got the new stuff. And this stuff is big. It's what we've been talking about for a long, long time. So I'm just going to cut straight into the biggest one. Instant Artifact Upgrade. Now I know there's going to be comments down below. And people will just be like, yeah, but other games have got it in already. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they do. And I've said that as well. But at least they're bringing it. Like they haven't bought it for the last three years. At least they are changing their mind. And they are now starting to listen almost on a monthly basis to the community. So I've got to call it out when they do it. Because it's like, you know, it's like when you've got a little kid. And it's like, please do what I say you're going to do. When they start doing it, you need to call it out. Yeah, this is the same thing. So you're going to love this one. The improvement that was heavily requested that is going to come live in the current update is the ability to skip artifact upgrade 
animations. Yes! Oh, for someone who does streaming of Ray, this is a dream come true. You can simply check mark the instant upgrade to enable it. The actual mechanics will remain the same. The game process in the background is the same um, on like a one by one upgrade. And basically the silver will just exit your account. You don't have to watch the whole thing for the next 10 minutes to watch one item upgrade. It's a huge quality of life change. So thank you, Raid, for taking that on. Second thing they've said here is the Hydra Battle Regroup. So at the moment, if you're doing crap in a run and you know it's pretty RNG heavy still, you can just hit the regroup and start again. It says here, because you might want to try and start getting auto runs going, ideally. Um, we're adding the same functionality to the battle results screen. So in the nearest patch, you know, once you've done your, your Hydra run, if it's just a bad run, you've let it go auto, you went for lunch, you came back, you can actually hit the free regroup button at the end of the fight and it won't steal your key and you can run again. So I think that's quite a big change actually because that's been quite annoying. You know, it feels like I'm just close to winning, I'm close to getting the key that I want and it just it falls short and you've let your last person die and you're like, damn, that was just wasted my whole key. Well, at this point, you can now actually just hit the free regroup and you could use that key again. So it's pretty good. Um, obviously, they want people to do Hydra. It's something that they're really pushing towards. And you know, from a personal point of view, you just saw it there, actually. Even the free to play now is getting chests. Yeah, the, the Hydra battle is way better than it was. Way better. Still not the best content I've ever seen in the world, but it's considerably better than it was so there you go guys free gifts awesome um potentially a bit of a bait tournament coming up just be careful of it because you do want to prep for this great fusion that's coming next week and some good quality of life changes i've been hell hades i will see you later